Hello there everyone and welcome to my home. Today we are decorating my entryway for spring and Easter so that it is a warm inviting place to welcome guests. I'm glad that you stopped by today to join me. If you are new, my name is Lisa and I am so happy to have each and every one of you watching. The first place that company and guests see when they enter your home is your entryway and this is one of my favorite places to decorate. And whether your entry space is large or small or somewhere in between, you can do so much to make it warm, cozy, and inviting. I always like to start with a fresh blank slate. I also like to give all my surfaces a quick wipe down before I put out my new decorations and home decor. I wanted to swap out the captain's dining chair that was here previously with this upholstered chair that I am borrowing from my bedroom. And then I'm gonna start removing all the decor so we can start fresh with everything new. And speaking of new, I am going to unbox my Real Feel tulips with you. I ordered these off of Amazon. Everything will be linked down in the description for stuff that I share that is linkable just for your convenience. But I saw these and wanted to give them a try. The description said that they were supposed to be lifelike and they had really good reviews. So at first touch here, they definitely do have a good quality to them. I cannot believe all these tulips came in this little box. I will keep the box to store them after the season so they stay nice for next year. But I chose white. They had different colors to choose from. The stems are bendable so you can droop them and drape them over so that they do have that more realistic look. I'm going to use this crystal vase to arrange the tulips. I thought maybe I could spread the petals apart, but you cannot do that. Out of the package, some of the tulips had a rubber band around them in bunches and I'm glad that I left them banded together because they just went in this vase so nicely and just set up into a realistic arrangement. This is definitely not sponsored. I used my own money to purchase these tulips and I can highly recommend them. I will have them linked in the description like I said if you want to snag you some. start placing the other items I'm going to put this remote control battery candle back on its pedestal here I love the juxtaposition of the crystal and then I made over these rabbits to have a concrete look with the wicker and the wood just all of it together I love the way it keeps your eye and your mind guessing what you're gonna see next using black accents in my home and so I love this frame and the florals just say spring and if you can believe it I picked up this black beaded strand at Dollar Tree. I thrifted this little bird for 99 cents. I love birds and then just added some faux greenery in there. I'm going to soften the pattern of the upholstered chair with the sage green throw. It is super soft. And then I bought this pretty spring pillow from Walmart this season. This plant 
center also came from Walmart in the garden section and then I had this little faux greenery already in my collection. I also had these little ceramic birds for years, but on my last trip into Hobby Lobby, I noticed that they still carry them. So if you would like to add these to your spring decor, you can head to Hobby Lobby and pick you up some in their spring garden section. I really loved my winter decor on this table and was sad to see it go, but I have fallen in love all over again with this new spring decorating here. I think it is just the right blend of textures and colors and spring. You have Easter with the rabbits, but it's very classy and tasteful. I needed extra storage for some blankets, so I picked up this basket at Ross for $17.99. It was a steal given that it is a very large basket. And I got it to put some out of season pillows in and store it down in there so you'll never know. So it adds another element to the room of the texture and softness of the pillows, but also provides the functionality of extra storage. tall ceilings here in my entryway and this hanging wall basket looked kind of sad up here by itself so I found a few additional wall medallions I connected these two together so that it gives color and texture and dimension I just put that on there with a twist tie and then I hang them up here and this is what it now looks like. I think it is much better in a grouping here. I never was completely satisfied with it before. So, you know, that's, that's the thing with decorating. You just keep working at it and working at it. This area just needed a little work. Again, dusting everything down. And I will put my inspiration picture inserted here for you to see. I saw this on Instagram and I wished I could remember which account, but I had this large lantern and knew I could recreate the look. I found these floral greenery stems at Target. They were $5 each and they are a good size with a long stem to put up and out of this lantern. And just decorating tip and advice for you, anytime you get new greenery or faux stems, take the extra time to fluff them out and bend them. It just will make them look more realistic and not be so flat in your arrangements. So always take that extra time. I do that even when my stems have been in storage because they get flattened. So I'm going to just mess with this here for a minute and get it just the way we want it to look. the items I'm sharing with you today were featured in my spring home decor haul video and you can check that out to see prices and everything but I found this planter at Walmart and I'm going to put in this faux fiddle fig leaf plant I'm going to use this old storage decorative storage box that I have to elevate the plant up into the pot so it's not so low Again, fluffing out all the leaves so that it looks more realistic and lifelike. And then 
to top this area off, I am moving the picture that I previously had on my entry table propped up and I'm going to hang it on the wall here. The colors look really good with this plant and the woodwork. It just ties everything together and pops. And because we need a little bit of spring up here, I'm going to take these faux green flock rabbits and position them up here, bringing the green up into this corner. I think all of this together works so much better. It helps to anchor my corner curio cabinet. That was a precious gift from my husband on our wedding. It just looks really nice all together and decorated. Now we are gonna move on to this other entry table across the room. And again, take everything off, even if we think we're gonna use it again or know we are gonna use it back here in this space. I like to remove it all and then dust it down again. But it just gives your eye a good clean slate so that you can start fresh with your new decor for the next season. This lamp is fairly new. I bought, well, it's actually really new. I bought it right after the first of the year at Ross and it was only like $24.99. I really do love it, but I had this planter that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna turn it into a lamp for this space. And I'm gonna do that by taking an old lamp that I have and setting it down inside. Now I'm gonna use a book to raise it up so that it is the right height. And then I'm gonna add a white pleated shade to it. The cord you cannot see because it is the same color as the pot and it's in this corner, so that's not a problem. But it turned into a really lovely lamp and I have seen these in stores and online for $100 plus. So to be able to make one and then repurpose it down the road back into a planter and a gold lamp is even better. Beside the lamp, I'm gonna add a book for some height and then this black planter from Walmart with a faux plant that I already had and then my close jar. I love this jar. You, some people love tear trays and they're great, but for me, my love is a cloche. You can do so many things and I love decorating them. I'm gonna put this little plant that I had and then these concrete bunnies. I got these this season at Target Dollar Spot. They're super cute and I just, again, love the wood and the concrete and the white, just all the textures. And then the black metal candle stand and I have something very special I'm gonna put on that here in just a minute. I'm gonna lay out my beaded garland again. And then a couple of antique books that belonged to my husband's aunt. I'm going to use those to display and elevate this little potted faux plant. 
and then I have these nesting eggs that I just love. They have John 3:16 on it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that we can have everlasting life. That is what Easter is all about. The sacrifice of our Lord and Savior so that our sins are washed clean and we can be reborn and rebirthed through his sacrifice. All we have to do is believe in him and give our heart over to him. And then we spend eternity with him. So where you see all my rabbits and florals and cute stuff for spring and Easter, this is the meaning that I truly grab hold of and embrace, not just at Easter, but all year long. I'm so glad that you joined me today for decorating spring and Easter in my entryway. If you enjoyed this video, I always appreciate when you hit that thumbs up and drop me a comment below. I love to talk to you down in the comments. If you haven't already, I invite you to hit that subscribe bar. Join the Uniquely Lisa family. I most definitely want you to be a part of it. I will be back soon with more decorating. I have cleaning motivation. I have some cooking for you. So much is happening here around my home. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day. And I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.